So I've got a rebuttal for the Jason Fitzes of the world. The Skip Bayless of the world that always mock Eli Manning and say, ah, he's not a Hall of Famer. And here's where they nitpick. They start with record. They say 116 and 116. Not good enough to get in the Hall of Fame. Really? Then explain away Joe Namath and explain away Dan Fouts. Dan Fouts is two games below, above 500, and Joe Namath is below. Why the hell are either one of these guys in the Hall of Fame? So that's, that's your first. You already have two bona fide Hall of Famers. One barely above 500, and the other one below 500. But yet you're going to argue against. And why does this matter? Because precedent has already been set. And Eli Manning is a bona fide Hall Hall of Famer, if you like it or not. Okay? A lot of people will sit there and explain away, well, Eli Manning led the league in three three times, or led the league in interceptions three different times in his career. Then explain away, explain away in five full seasons why Joe Namath led the league four times in his career. Yet, he's a Hall of Famer. A lot of people will sit there and Nick Pitt and say, Eli Manning, 16 years, only made four Pro Bowls. Then explain to me why Jim Kelly in 11 years made five and Kurt Warner, another Hall of Famer, in 11 years made three. See, precedent has already been set. You always sit there and make fun of his mediocre stats. There are a ton of guys with mediocre stats in the Hall of Fame. Does 254 and 245 touchdowns to interceptions for Dan Fouts sound good to you? Does 165 total touchdowns for his career? Yeah, I'm talking about Troy Aikman. And only having one season of 20 touchdowns plus and being a glorified game manager because the team he was on being in the Hall of Fame because of basically three Super Bowls. Sound good to you? Or Jim Kelly taking advantage of a very, very weak AFC East, just like the Patriots have, getting to his Super Bowls and losing all four. Or Dan Fouts having a horrible, being sub-500 in the playoffs. The reason Dan Fouts is in is because he had two, or yeah, he had, he was the first quarterback with consecutive seasons of 4,000 passing yards. The fact of the matter is, when precedent is set, it's hard to argue against precedent because how do you compare quarterbacks to judge if they're a Hall of Famer or not? You compare them to the ones that have come before. And Eli Manning succeeds a lot of them. And it goes far beyond just the Super Bowl factors and the clutch factor. The only reason we're having this argument because he is a Manning. And if he had any other name and had these same accolades, he would be in the Hall of Fame. It's not the first argument that people made. Because he is a Manning, he's going to be in the Hall of Fame. No. Because he is a Manning, his name is put under a microscope and he is judged more harshly. Look at the storyline it was yesterday after the Giants had sat him. Actually, two days ago now. The fact of the matter is, Eli Manning is a bona fide Hall of Famer. Dare I say it? First ballot? Eli Manning will be in the Hall of Fame, and there's no reason he shouldn't. Because if you're going to make the argument against Eli Manning, you better make the argument at least five of those guys, if not more, be taken out. Either way, it's been one giant rebuttal. Please like and subscribe and go big.